No, Marcella. I'm Graham, and I'm 45 years of age. OK. Hello. So now your hair, here, um, let's hit this. Why do you feel you need life coaching? My mum got me these for a gift, you know, these sessions are just a present, so I don't... So. Oh, you're the Groupon client. Oh, maybe. It sounds like my mum. Oh, yeah. mm. Wow. OK, so tell me a little bit about yourself, your hopes, your dreams. Uh, well, it's acting. I'm, a, I'm an actress, so it's just acting. And when was your last acting job? Oh, oh, oh! The tail! You boss like little Tory! Is that an acting job? Well, I'm not a bloody mermaid, am I, mate? So... No, it's not. No. It's not the RSC, but it keeps my hand in. And it provides you with a living. But I also temp in offices, and that suits me because time off auditions and stuff. You know? well, when was your last audition? Mm. I see where you're going with this. Mm. You won't break me. Do you have a partner? No. Unless you're meaning crime. No, I don't mean in crime. Yeah, I, I didn't mean, I didn't think that. I'm going to get this call, but don't take that as some kind of diversion, because I am enjoying this chat hard. Hello? Hey, just a little thing. Um, did you pull last night? Yeah, well, technically a, a man came back with me, but it wasn't... We didn't. Right. How much detail do you want, mate? Did we wake you up? Oh, no, no. You and... What's your name, lovely? Stephen. Yeah, you and Stephen didn't wake me up. Are you fucking kidding me? He's still there. He said Marcella. Said I could hang for a bit. Yeah, a bit. I thought it's not a bit, it's a bunch. I didn't say you could say for a bunch of time. Well, why didn't you check he'd gone when you came home? He is freaking me out. He's fine, he's fine. Mate, he has never seen friends. <laughs> this, this is great. Ross, this guy, has the hots for Rachel. And she's friends with Monica. <laughs> You need to probably get him out. Get him out, I reckon. <coughs> Listen, I'm really sorry I have to go. Wait, Marcella! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Stephen. The cat is smelly. <laughs> the cat stinks! <laughs> sorry about that, it was a butcher. I ordered some chops. OK, Marcella. What are you scared of? What do you fear? Oh, why didn't we unplug our chargers? Your Majesty! Cheese! No! Oh, the cheese is gone! No! Oh, cheese! Let's go with cheese! Uh, nothing, really. I can't really think of anything at the top of my head. We have a lot of work to do. We will have to hurry. The weather will be on us like a dark cat. How are we tell Sir John this is all that's left of his family farm? The fire. It came. <gasps> the fire. It came. It <gasps> took... Cut. Sorry. Sorry about that. No, I, I'm fine now. Just uh, totally fine. God, I'm sorry, Marcella. Okay, it's fine. It's just, um... <gasps> I'm pulling a cart, you know. Uh, maybe have a sip of water? Uh, no, no. I, I think my character's, um... <sighs> dry type of person, so... OK, reset, everyone. We're going to go again. We will have to hurry. The weather will be on us like a dark cat. How will we tell Sir John this? It's all that's left of his family farm. The fire. It came. And it took everything... <gasps> sorry. Oh, my God. I'm Cut. so, so sorry. Uh, maybe it's fine. Maybe a tiny sip of water, though, just cos it's a... 
It's a proper full cart, you know, it's meant to be, meant to be pulled by a horse. It's fine though, it's fine. I'm just having a great time, to, just happy to be here. So is this guy. My son has got an acting job. Oh yes, she does, yeah. And it's the real McCoy. She's running around holding ducks and everything. Ducks? <laughs> she turned up the other day covered in shite. It's method stuff. Like Daniel Day, he would hold his own ducks. Hmm? The real actors hold the animals. <laughs> yeah, great. Right, well, I'll let you go, pet. And do let me know if you hear from Billy, right? All right. Bye, Moira. Bye. <sighs> William. I, I didn't hold the duck. The lead actress holds the duck. Pull a cart, Doctor Shall Me. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll send Raven Rockets in now. Oh, this is great. So, gentlemen, we're going to go for wide because we're running a little bit behind on time, so just stay with me, okay? Thank you, guys. Oh. These fucking hiccups every single day. Hiccups. What are we going to do? Can we go with the hiccups? No, of course we can't go with the hiccups. He's ruining everything. I can't cure hiccups. I understand you can't cure it, but I need some kind of support. Sarah, you've got a massive spider in your cleavage. What? No! No! Help! Help! Get up! 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 It's gone! It's gone! It's gone! It's gone! What? It's gone! It's inside me! No, no! Oh my god, it's inside me! It's inside I can feel it! Sarah? There's no spider. Come on, Sarah. <gasps> Come on, Sarah. <gasps> spider. Legs. Sort of legs. 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 And the legs. It's, got, it's gone now, anyway. Um, Billy? Yeah. Um, I feel like you should stop taking drugs. Um, just... Say no. Hey, yeah! You see? He's not fucking taking this seriously at all! Is he? Stop! Stop! Throwing shit at me! You're a wonderful child. But you and Mars, in fairness. Oh, I knew you wouldn't be able to have a go at the golden Shush! Boy. I'm just saying that's how it always plays out for me. I have the conch. Do you hear me? Mum, Mum, it's fine. I have the conch! And I will be heard! I am a damn good mother. But I am more than you two spoiled brats, mother. I feel like the B story in my own life. You two should be all right by now. That's it. Not fucking successful or happy necessarily, but okay. You don't throw yourself away because life is tough or you're not on Emmerdale. Or you all think you should be happy all the time. I gave enough time and I deserve children who are feckin' okay. Do either of you ever think about me? Hmm? Oh, not me as in, oh, mum will sort it. But me as a person with my own hopes and needs and heartaches. <clears throat> Good evening. Firstly, uh, I would just like to say what a lovely spread. Um, cheers. Uh, Billy? Uh, this, this is weird. Um, yeah, I think when you sort of take drugs, it sort of distances us. I don't feel like you've been there for me. Um, when you take drugs, you're not a great mate. And... Shut up, Simon. You stayed at Marcella's house last night. You know, she cried for a whole year when you broke up. That's uh, my sister, by the way. Sorry, um, I interrupted. You were saying something about being a bad friend? Well, first of all, it is physically impossible to cry for a year over someone, so... Well, you know, you kind of manage that. Oh, you do need to cry. Everybody, shut up! Unless you have the conch. As I was saying, not everyone here has made it through the wilderness like I have. What's wrong with this fucker? He's on drugs, Dad. Fucking drugs? 
Tucker. I can't believe you slept with Simon. What were you thinking? What's the big deal, for fuck's sake? He's a freaking boyfriend, isn't he? This is clown. This is a fucking junkie. It's about a year ago, Dad. Not that you'd know. Uh, well, how would I know? You always tell me things are fine. Well, things are not fine. I thought you were over him. You worked so hard to get over him. I thought you finally had your life on track, and now... Well, we didn't mean for it to happen. Oh, shut up, Simon. You're a married fucking man. What were you doing round at your ex-girlfriend's house, huh? She, she, she got kicked out for... Stealing blue roll from the pub. Hey, hang on a fucking minute. Why were you stealing toilet paper? It's just toilet paper. I didn't steal a car. I just... I'm a bit broke. It's more than a bit broke when you can't even afford to wipe your fucking arse. Uh, <clears throat> I, on the other hand, have a good job. Always been an earner. Never asked for anything from anyone. Unlike old shitty arse. Fuck off, Billy. Fuck off. 